welcome everyone to another episode of Church Without Walls, Sunday School Edition. Auntie Esther here. Let's begin by going to God in prayer. Let us pray. Hands together, eyes closed, heads bowed. Dear Lord, thank you for this opportunity to meet you in worship. Even though we are isolated from one another, you are here. We welcome you into our homes now. Accept our prayers, songs, reading, and meditation as we learn more about you. Help us to understand your word and to put it to good use in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Time for singing. Ask everyone around you to join in. And remember to clap. We are happy people, praise the Lord. And we have the Bible, the Word of God. Satan had a hold on me, but Jesus came and set me free. By the blood of Calvary, oh, praise the Lord. The time to be happy is now, and the place to be happy is here. And the way to be happy is to make others happy, and we'll have a little heaven down here. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The world's behind me, the cross before me. Our Bible lesson today comes from John chapter 21, verses 1 to 14. I'm reading from the classic children's Bible storybook. The story is entitled, Jesus at the Sea of Galilee. Simon Peter and some of the other disciples decided to go fishing. They caught nothing that night. When the sun came up, Jesus was standing on the beach. Again, his disciples did not recognize him. Jesus spoke to them. Fellows, have you caught any fish? No, they replied. He said, throw your net on the right-hand side of the boat and you'll get some. When they obeyed, they couldn't pull the net in because it was so heavy with fish. This time, John recognized Jesus first. It's the Lord, he said to Peter. The other disciples came in by boat, pulling along the net full of fish. When they got out of the boat, they saw a breakfast of fish and bread. There were 153 fishes in the net. Jesus said, come and have some breakfast. He then took the bread and gave it to them. He did the same with the fish. 
It was the third time Jesus had appeared to the disciples since he was raised from the dead. Just as he did on the road to Emmaus, Jesus appears to his disciples once again. This time, it was by the Sea of Galilee. The disciples had gone fishing. Remember, some of them were fishermen before Jesus called them to be his disciples. They knew Jesus was alive, but perhaps they did not yet figure out what they should do next, so they went fishing. The problem was that they caught no fish. They had been on the water for an entire night and caught nothing. Then Jesus appears, although they did not recognize him yet, and things changed. This reminds us that when we're lost and don't know what to do, Jesus can come into our situation and guide us. Jesus tells them to cast their net on the right-hand side of the boat, and they obeyed. Important lesson for us here, boys and girls. The disciples followed Jesus' instruction. We must also trust Jesus and obey what he tells us. And when we do, what happens? Yes, our nets will be overflowing. Our blessings will be great. Can you imagine 153 fishes? Way more than what the disciples needed or could eat, but they were rewarded because they listened. Now they could share the fish with their neighbors. So too, when God blesses us, we should share with our friends. Isn't Jesus wonderful? He's always there with an answer to our problems, and he rewards us greatly when we are obedient to him. This Bible story gave us the chorus, Peter, James, and John in a sailboat. Let us sing it, and don't forget the actions. Peter, James, and John in a sailboat. Peter, James, and John in a sailboat. Peter, James, and John in a sailboat out in the deep blue sea. They fished all night, but they caught no fishes. They fished all night, but they caught no fishes. They fished all night, but they caught no fishes out in the deep blue sea. Cast your nets and draw, said Jesus. Cast your nets and draw, said Jesus. Cast your nets and draw, said Jesus, out in the deep blue sea. Then their nets were full and breaking. Then their nets were full and breaking. Then their nets were full and breaking, out in the deep blue Our memory verse today comes from our Bible story, John chapter 21, verse 6. Let's read it together. They threw their nets on the right side and could not pull it back in because they had caught so many fish. Let's read it again. They threw their nets on the right side and could not pull it back in because they had caught so many fish. And in keeping with our story and fish, our craft today, boys and girls, will be making the moving fish. To make our moving fish, you would need a sheet of paper. You can choose any color or even white will do. Firstly, we take the top end and fold it down along the opposite side so we get and then we cut the extra piece off this ensures that we have a perfect square sheet of paper to work with 
open it out and you can arrange it like a diamond and then we go the left point fold it to the middle line and the right point fold it down towards the middle line And this is what we have, a kite sheet. Now you can open them back out and fold your paper back down along the middle line. Now, at this point, you can decorate your fish. I may want to make maybe some spots on my fish. I can decorate. You may want to do stripes, you may want to do rainbow colors, all depending on the type of fish that you want. Then you're going to take the scissors, you can ask an adult to help you, and we're going to make some cuts, but not all the way through to the end of the paper, just towards where the fold is. We can make them about a half inch apart. Almost all the way down to the end. And these would look like the scales on the fish. This would be the front of the fish. And you could just round out the edges here. Now, if you have craft eyes, you can put in eyes. If you don't, you can just simply use a marker and draw in the eyes on either side of your fish. Now, we're ready to stick the fish together. So, you only need to put glue on one side and then take the other and slide it over. And there we have our fish. Let's not forget the other parts. You'll need a heart. You can cut it out in a different color paper if you like. And two oval pieces. These would be the fins and the tail. You can even put some lines in. And we put some glue. Stick the tail. And the fit. One on one side, the other on the opposite side. Wait for it to dry and then we have a moving fish. Let us come to God and pray. Let's put our hands together. Bow our heads and close our eyes. Lord, thank you for teaching us that Jesus can come into our situation and turn it around. Forgive us when we have been like the disciples and did not recognize him or doubted him. Help us to trust and obey him always, for we know he has the answers and he wants nothing more than to bless us. Thank you, Lord, for providing for us and our families during this time. We pray that you show us how we can help and share what we have with those in need. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's all for today, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed our Sunday school time. See you next week. Thank you.